yeah. Is there anything you want to talk about with with ordering tables or felts or any of that stuff? Just you know, from curiosity for people that um, don't know what it's like. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Like, I'll, I'll give you a little, you know, they're just stories about what's going on. Um, when it came to the table design <clears throat> and the table itself, um, we, we went with a company called Ride Park Gaming. Um, and what happened was right towards the beginning of my involvement with the project, which has been since May of this year, um, and I was working with Chuck Lesson and Akiva Lesson, his son. And uh, it's really the two of them that are, that are the owners of this. And, and I'm you know, working with them as poker operations manager, Chuck said to me, look, I, I need to go and pick out tables. Um, can you, can you go with me? And this was back in early June. Now at that particular time, my father was, was on his deathbed actually. And we, we had limited time and uh, I couldn't really leave at that time. And uh, so I actually turned down a trip to Vegas, which is not mm -hmm. likely at all. Um, and Chuck went out himself and picked, hand, hand picked out these tables. These tables are their elite tables, the same tables that they had sold and put into the Venetian and the Bellagio. Um, so they're really, really nice tables. They're the best we could get out of Vegas. Uh, and then we just, we had came up with this design here. Um, this was, uh, we had a, uh, interior designer that we've also been working with who helped put together colors and things like that. So even like the colors of the room, and I can tell you based on experience as a computer consultant, having worked with companies, and ultimately a company comes to you and says, we need to brand ourselves. Do you know anything about branding? Well, yes, I know about branding because I work with hundreds of companies over the years, and it just comes up over and over again to the point where they start asking me advice. Do you think this color goes with this color? You know, whatever. And I, I know companies that have spent tens of thousands of dollars just for a color scheme, right? Yes. You know, <laughs> forget the logo. The logo could cost you tens of thousands of dollars. Um, so in this particular case, I don't know. Do you have that? Can you share that screen right there? The uh, that's what our table is going to look like. This right here is uh, the design. Um, it, it we this was come up with by our uh, our interior decorator actually chose that fabric, and then they incorporated the logo, and we went through a few different iterations of. You know how big should the the graphic in the middle with the with the red overlay be? You know, little decisions along the way. Most of them are just aesthetic, and some of them are reality. You know, um, we're not having a betting line, so really the the red in the middle is kind of insignificant. But it's just more eye appealing the way it is now than the way it was the first time. They made, it was much smaller and thinner than it is even now. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's little decisions like that along the way that you have to make in terms of you know where we put in the logo, how many logos do we put, what's the background design going to be, what are the basic colors going to be, the color of the felt, the color of the the rail, the color of the chairs, the color of the stitching on the chairs. It's crazy stitching. I'm, I'm putting you front and center because oh gosh, stitching. Come on, stitching on chairs, right? But but it makes a difference if you walk into your own card room. Is it a place that you would want to gamble? Is this?